Hi everyone! Recently I wasn't very happy with all my finished pages or pictures in progress on which I am working currently and I decided that I need at least one relaxing coloring and relaxing for me means one of the pictures by Dennis Klett. In her books I always can play with bright colors, I can use various mediums and it's what exactly I will be doing for today's picture. For the background, which has a lot of black lines, I decided to use neo colors on the first step. I really hoped that as they are more opaque comparing to watercolors, they will be more capable to mask at least some of the black lines on the water. And first, I did this underwater layer of water and I combined a little bit of turquoise blue and turquoise green in the upper part where water gets bigger amount of light so it's um, lighter comparing to the layer of water which is closer to the ground and then I switched to darker blue color and I will be using cobalt blue closer to the lower part of the page. For the underwater layer for all those waves and area around mermaid, I will be mixing a little bit of cobalt blue and a little bit of Prussian blue, which is even more intense blue. You know that according to the rules of um, perspective, everything which is far from us, it will be slightly darker comparing to the foreground. That's why on the area which is near those islands which we have there on the background, I put more intense layer of dark blue color on the water. And apart from blue, I also will be using a little bit of greenish blue to show that green islands are reflecting in the surface of the water. As usual, to dissolve my neocolor crayons, I use my favorite Jackson's Art Quill brush and neocolors will be just the first step which I will be using here because later I will switch to acrylic paints and I will try to mask at least the thickest black lines, which are really bothering me here. Also, in this first part I will start to color islands with colored pencils and another reason why I like to return to Dennis Clad books is that I can work in it with my cheaper brands of pencils. I don't think that in books of Dennis Klett it's so important to create very uh, soft color transitions, that shading is so important. Here I pay more attention to the intensity and brightness of colors. And that's why I will be using mostly my Arteza pencils. You know that when I color portraits or landscapes, I tend to use more popular brands like Prismacolors or Polychromos, but I also want to use from time to time my other pencils. And I think that for such cheerful and easy subjects like we have in Gnomes in Neighborhood or in Mermaids here, I can use pencils like Arteza which probably not layer as well as Prismacolors, but they are extremely bright and they have very interesting and nice colors. And I especially love their variety of green, blue and pink colors. And these colors are exactly what I plan to use for this page. I hope that you will be able to find similar colors in Prisma color set if you want to follow my color along, but if not, just leave my message in the comment and I will suggest which Prisma color pencils I would use instead of Arteza for this page. 